How's it going, boys? It is NW Misha back here with another video, and today we are going to be working on. Let me walk over here real quick. Bada bam, bada bam. We got myself some headers wow. and some extra pieces. So yeah, let's get started. So this will be a um, a tutorial on how to do everything on taking out and putting back in your headers in a 5 series um, this is the m52 engine so it would uh, most of the things would work with an e46 I'm pretty sure so first things first if I were you I'll suggest to take out your o2 sensors there's one right here there's one a little bit further just right down there they're not super hard to get out all you needed to get is the o2 sensor um, socket that attaches to here, and then you're able to unscrew it. Next step. Now, if you have a stock car, you're gonna have this thing with a pipe coming out of it. And in here, there will be two 10 millimeter um, nuts that you have to take off, and then this will pop off. So this right here is for the secondary air pump. It is a uh, switch whatever and there's a hose that comes from here which is this one which i've plugged in um because i have gotten a uh, block off plate for this um the reason why is because i don't need it in washington state the emissions will come out in 2020 and it's the summer of 2019 i've gotten my emissions already passed i don't need it anymore it just adds weight so first thing, remove this because it'll be easier for you to access some of the screws that are down here. So if you can see below the secondary, right there, the one that's under my finger, this is one of those screws that you're gonna encounter into um, uh, taking off the um, headers. Anyways, those headers in each bolt here are uh, 11 millimeters so um, it may seem like a little loose fit but trust me I have been working on this and it works just as fine so I think it's a uh, 7 it's 11 or 7 16 so 7 16 you can also use it will fit or an 11 now don't worry if you have all this other stuff off I'm was just working on my valve cover gasket so I had to take it out, and I have my coil pack still out, but um, I'll be putting that back in. I'm just leaving it out just because it's a little bit easier for me um, because of the uh, coil pack harness and whatnot. Okay, okay. Now, to make life easier, you're going to probably want to remove your front right wheel. Now, the reason why is because back here, you're going to be able to access the screws and everything a lot easier. And also for me... I get to access my secondary air pump, which I got to get out. So let's get this wheel off. Now, just lift up the car, get that thing out of there, and we can see what we're going to have inside. All right, so I've got all the lug nuts off, and then you can just uh -huh, take it out, move it somewhere safe. All right, so the next thing you probably want to do is lift your car up because you're gonna have to get under there by the exhaust system whoops and you're gonna need a lot of space to crawl under there so really get your high, car high up the jacks or your lifts whatever works best for you there and bam there you go Throw that boy right there. And there you go. There's your secondary air pump right in front of you. Now, since this is going to be a two-in-one video, I'll show you guys how to remove this secondary air pump. If you have any problems taking this hose off, I suggest to heat it up with a blow dryer or a heat gun. Maybe a heat gun might be a little bit too much, but a blow dryer would be just good. Um, and then you're able to uh, kind of just squeeze and pull this off. But... Um, yeah, not not really a um possible 
Yeah, so I'm learning a lot as I'm doing this with learning new parts and stuff like that. So don't judge me if I don't know, know how to do something correctly. All right, so down here, though, I'm pretty sure yeah, the, the whole entire assembly actually has to come out in order for you to re both replace it or remove it. So let's see what we got here. Okay, so now we're under the car, but down here there are a f like three 10 mils. Um, don't know what it is, but you're going to need a 10 mil socket in order to get this thing out. There's one. Come out, boom. Here's another one right here. Let's there we go. And then the third one is just behind the hose here, right there. You get this out is to remove the actual power to the secondary air pump. Now this is what is going to get my code going off. Um, if you don't know, your check engine light will come on when you remove this. So just be wary. Um, you need uh, either a, a tune or have some sort of um, uh, device piggyback that kind of like clips onto here and then it acts technically to the uh, ECU. It tells it, oh, it's working, you know, everything's fine. But the ECU, it just doesn't matter, you know, because this is just pushing air into your headers. Um, um, because of emissions reasons, but um, yeah, so we're gonna get all these things out and get this hose out and just remove this thing completely and that should be it. So once you get all those screws out, this will just come right out. Um, I didn't take this hose off because it was a, just it didn't really matter to me. But if uh, if this hose is still attached to the other thing that is up there, like I showed you earlier then do take this off and if you're wondering where it comes from it comes from this port right here um mine for some reason had a lot of oil on it uh probably from my valve cover gasket and that's why i replaced it and there you go this is 10 pounds less okay so under the car ah First things first is that you're gonna to wanna to remove wanna remove your exhaust. Now for my exhaust currently I just have my resonator. Oh, there we go. I have my resonator in the back and then I have the cats. Which right here. And that is it. Um after this I will only have my resonator. Um anyways, here in these holes and these bolts. Um, this is the only spot in my car, which is a 2520i. This is the only spot that they detach, which is right next to the um, uh, cats. And what they have are... Alright, so you're going to want to have a 5 8 and or a 17 millimeter socket for these. Uh, what you're going to do is, they're going to be on here with the uh, exhaust coming out right here put a lot of WD-40 on there and it should come out um, they're fairly simple to get out just make sure you have one of these uh, sockets that you can um, or wrenches that you can bend and stuff so you can reach into other places there will be two O2 sensors right up here um, they're quite the first one is literally right there you can barely see it um and it's quite easy to get out and then the second one's just a little bit further down the other side and it's a little bit more difficult but it's possible now the way i did it is i um i had my wrench here and i took my o2 sensor um socket i uh put it in so i i dropped it facing this way and then I put in my uh, socket wrench bending and then it, the rest of the handle going down this way right here so then I had this and then I was able to then 
put a little bit of WD-40 and then push it this way all the way out and it was able to come out. And then, um, yeah, so I have them dangling here. They're just off to the side. Um, they also come on these, this bracket here and a bracket up there. You can just easily take it off and then twist them out. They will get very twisted. So be careful on um, um, accidentally twisting it too much and you could rip the wires. So, but this is for people only that need your second uh, aftercat or two sensors. Um, for some people, you could also get a tune and remove this, um, which is what I'm probably hopefully, hopefully wanting to do. I'm not sure if my car will go bad if I uh, don't you run these right now without any tune whatsoever, and I'm not sure if like I have to go and put in new ones into my other headers or whatnot. Um, I really don't want to put them in. Um, I would rather just have them out. If you see those orange bolts up there, that's what you're going to be taking out for your headers. Now, in any job you want to do, oh gosh, where is it? Aha! Get yourself some gosh damn lubricant. What I do is just start spraying those bolts down. Hopefully, your WD 40 can reach there. Aha! There we go. Well, you know what I mean. Get up in there, just to use the space, just basically two clicks at a time, maybe three, maybe four. Get it out of there, and then keep doing out the rest of them. Oh man, so after a few days of working on this for a few hours at a time every day, I have finally gotten the first uh, header out. Um, it's, it's quite difficult to uh, unscrew everything but I just want to remove this stupid so yeah here you could probably check out how your bolt like pattern is so mine I have two here and then two on the inside and then these two on the outside so yeah interesting so let's get in the car under the car and then we'll get that thing out of there now, to be honest, I'm really not quite sure how I'm going to be able to take this out. Um, it literally looks like there's no space to take this out. I might need to take unbolt the other one. I have one more. I think I have one more um, nut on the other side. But let me try. Let's see if I could somehow maneuver this out of here possibly all right guys so basically this is the second um header in the car and you won't be able to get it out unless you cut it and i had to cut one of the flanges off and then this one it was a little bit of tight fit but you're able to i was able to wiggle it out and it came out so now next thing you need to do is uh get your gasket i suggest putting a little dab of RTV gasket maker here and here just to hold it in place when it's in there so it won't fall out because it's at an angle. So yeah, let's get that. Alright guys, so we got it all in. It was looking nice. I did drop one of the nuts, but I don't really care. I'll deal with that later. Uh, I'm going to start it up now and then I'll show you guys how it sounds. Ready? Definitely driving this to the freaking beach. Oh my
that's crazy. Well, so my friend's welder isn't working, so I am not able to put the rest of the exhaust on. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed the current installation and everything and removal of the secondary air pump and getting everything. Hope it was informational for you guys and hope you guys enjoyed it. All right. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.